Hi, I'm Tommy Jackson, and I'm a senior at Oakville High School. And I'm Caitlin Jackson, his twin sister, and I am also a senior at Oakville High School. Throughout my time at Oakville, I was involved in HOSA, DECA, National Honor Society, Science National Honor Society, and Spanish National Honor Society. And I was involved in the marching band, the speech and debate team, and the quiz bowl team. So my plan after high school is to attend Baylor University to study biology on a pre-med track. And I'm going to go to Mizzou to study political science, statistics, and economics. Oakville High School actually gave me my plans for the future. Before I went to Oakville High, I was, I didn't really know what I wanted to do, but it was somewhere between aerospace engineer, astrophysicist, or ice cream taste tester. Uh, but after taking Mr. Gerdes's AP macro and microeconomics class, I realized that what I really wanted to do was be an economist. So because of Oakville High School, I now have a very strong vision for my future, and I know what I need to do to get there. So similarly to Tommy, Oakville not only prepared me with the proper study habits and the way of test taking and all that sort of thing, but it also exposed me to what the career that I want to go into. I wanted to go into medicine. So I was able to take like Dr. Mihai's anatomy and physiology class where we had hands-on labs. We got to dissect hearts, brains, eyes, all that sort of fun stuff. And then also AP Bio with Mrs. Thomas has also really solidified that I want to major in biology. So I have two messages for the class of 2020. The first is, we're all in this together. And I know that it's really hard to not see your friends. And I know that we have a lot of experiences that we were looking forward to that were ripped away from us. But something that this crisis has brought to the surface is that we really truly do live in an interconnected world. And something that I've found has been really helpful for me is if there's someone who I'm missing, I can call them through video conferencing software or even just to hear their voice. And that's my first message, that we it's not the same as face-to-face, -face, and I know that, but it's something that we can do. And the second thing that I would say is journal. We're living through a historic time right now, something that might be the defining moment of a lot of our lives. Commit it to a piece of paper. It will be better that way. My message to the class of 2020 is that I miss you guys. I hope to see you all soon at prom and graduation, hopefully. And I wish you all the best of luck in your future endeavors. Peace out, class of 2020. See you guys.